Hey guys, how's it going? I'm over here in uh, Grayson, Kentucky. At the Super Quick. It's the place I park when I come home. I always park here since oh years, all my years of driving trucks. Like 15, 16, 17 years. Something like that. All these years since 2005. Or whenever I moved over here. It's a good place to park. They let anybody park over here. They got three trucks and everything in here. But anyways, hope y'all had a good Thanksgiving. I did. Went over to the in-laws. My wife's parents. We go there every year for Thanksgiving. We had the usual fixings. Turkey and all that. It was good. Then we went home. Didn't do much over the time off. Set rest. Got the truck ready to go again. Now I'm fixing to go. Got a load to uh, pick up in Hamilton, Ohio. It's an interstate cold storage. It's going over to North uh, North something uh, Maryland, Northeast Maryland. I took it because it gets me over to get uh, Don out of New Jersey. And it pays pretty good. It don't pick up till tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. So I'm kind of having trouble getting motivation to leave. But I'm going to here in a minute. But anyway, I don't got much because I just went off. It was a pretty good time off. I'm not really feeling like going back to work though. But I never do. I get tired of leaving. But then once I go, I'm okay. But sometimes it's hard to leave the house. Even after all these years, it's still hard. I'd, sometimes I'd like to have what I call a normal life and just stay here, but there's nothing here. Nothing here to do, really, for a job. I tried it a couple of times. One time voluntarily and one time not voluntarily. There's one time I had to come home because I got in an accident. And then another time I just decided to come home. Neither time really worked. I didn't have any money. Because there's no jobs that make any money around here. And I kind of like driving the truck. I just like to do it on my terms. Just do it when I feel like it. I wouldn't leave for another week or two. <laughs> I'd just take me some time off. And then I'd go on out. Run me some loads for a couple weeks. Maybe three weeks and go back home. For a week. That kind of thing. Instead of having to stay out and only be off for, you know, less than a week. But I don't know. Anybody else go through that? It's like you're up and you're down. You're up and you're down. I've had the same problem ever since I've been driving the truck. But, I don't know. I'm not cut out for a regular job. Plus, they just don't pay enough. There's no way I can make what I make on the road. As I do you know, driving a truck, there's no way I could stay here and make that kind of money. I wouldn't even make half of it. I wouldn't even make half of a solo guy's money here. So, how'd I go again? Mostly it's okay. I don't know, it's probably this time of year too. It's all gray and blah. It sure is gray today. But once I get going, I'm alright. Then I'll be back for Christmas. But then I won't want to go out again. I'll still feel like staying home. And I'll have the same thoughts. See, when I'm out, I think about going home. And then when I go home, I'm worried about going back out to work. Because I feel like I ain't making any money. Or I just feel like I'm being lazy. I don't know. I'm just rambling on here. <laughs> but anyway. I heard everyone was up in arms about the prime... What is it? Christmas stay out incentive? That's just it. It's an incentive. They don't have to give you anything. I don't know why people get so up in arms about it. And it doesn't have to be the same thing year after year. I don't understand all the madness over it. Just don't go, don't, just go home if you want to go home. Stay out and get in the raffle if you want to be in the raffle. And, and they ain't cheating it. They're not giving it, like, it's so ridiculous. People are saying, oh, they're, they're going to give it to just the preferred people. No, they're not. It's a drawing. Sure, it only goes to 30 different people, but oh well. That's what they chose to do. 
I don't see the big deal in it. Yeah, it's the suckiest one yet that I, since I've been there. But it doesn't matter what they do anyways. I'm still going to do what I do. I'm going home for Christmas. I always go home from right before Christmas. Like I go home on the 23rd and then I'll go back out again on the 28th or something like that. I do that a year, every year. It's that one year I stayed out for Christmas. And I made some money, but it wasn't worth it really to me. I went home last year for Christmas. I'm pretty sure I went home for, yeah, last year I went home. It was the year before that I stayed out. And I remember that year I got a really good meat load. It went from Arizona to Florida. It paid really good. I was sick though. I had the Rona. I think I had the Rona. I never got tested though. I shouldn't talk about that on here. But anyway. But I mean, if you don't want to work it, don't work it. I don't know. I don't know how the complaining and bitching and moaning is. They don't know you shit. Prime doesn't know you nothing. They could just said we're not doing anything at all this year. They're giving away three trucks. That's pretty good. I won't win none of it because I'll only have maybe four, maybe four entries into it. Three or four. If I do, I'll just get really lucky if I win anything. But I don't think I will. But I wouldn't care. I just do what I do anyway. I liked last year's. It was really good. That was the best one ever where they gave you money on each load. I probably made $2,000 on that or something. It was really good last year. But I mean, they can't do that every year because that's the customers were paying that, not Prime. Prime's not going to pay all that money. And plus, freight is not good this year, so they don't need you out there. That's why they're, 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 the shippers aren't paying because they don't really need that many trucks. So they're, they're probably not paying anything. I think Prime's doing all this. Maybe they got... Oh, heck, I don't know what they got. I don't know if they got subsidized or what. But, I mean, I don't know. Just my opinion is to shut up about it and do it or don't do it. But don't sit there and complain and moan like they owe you something. They don't owe you shit. But anyway, that's about all I got for now, I think. I'm going to head out and get that. I don't think I had, I, I don't know if I had anything else to say. Oh, I'm about sick of listening to people on YouTube complain that they can't make money. When they're not willing to do what they need to do to make it. Turning down decent loads. It's annoying. Just quit if you're going to quit. Anyway, that's about all I got for now. Y'all be nice. Y'all take care. Y'all have a good one. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.